Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the young adult novel Essence and today I'm going to be either doing like a review or let's just talk about a book and that book is going to be Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I personally love Ray Bradbury and I think either my freshman or sophomore year of high school all we did was read a whole bunch of his short stories and they are about the creepiest, weirdest, strangest things you will ever read. But personally, I think that's the best part. And Fahrenheit 451 certainly is no exception. Um, it's classic Ray Bradbury. I think one of the best parts is because when you read any of his writing, you have to like read it and then go over it again because you're like, what? Is that what he really means? And by that, I mean, um, it's basically a dystopian novel set in the future where people aren't allowed to read books because they just, like, knowledge is not a good thing. They want everybody to be equal. So, basically, nobody is allowed to read books and their firefighters don't put houses out. They actually set books on fire if it's reported that a family has a book. Um, the firefighters come to that house and they burn the books. And, you know, they talk about how firefighters don't put out houses, they don't put out fires because the houses are fireproof, and the walls talk, and there are families, um, yeah, basically it's like the wall, I believe, is a giant, like, TV screen, and they talk to you, and that's what Montag's wife, Mildred, is always talking about the family in a very creepy way, like, oh, the family's talking to me, or something like that. But personally, I just love Ray Bradbury, and I'll give you guys an example from the book. This is how the protagonist Montag describes his wife, Mildred. Her hair burnt by chemicals to a brittle straw. Her eyes were the kind of cataract unseen but suspect far behind the pupils. The reddened, pouting lips. The body as thin as praying mantis from dieting, and her flesh like white bacon. And I just find... Um, Ray Bradbury's writing amazing because I sit there and I'm like, wow, I wish I could write like that. But basically, Fahrenheit 451 is a book that if you're a reader like I am, you will truly enjoy this because it's almost like reading a diary. Just the concept behind it is so... It talks about a lot of reading, but it also talks about it in like a negative way, but it's so negative and so like, the truth is so stretched that... You're like, oh my god, well, what are people doing? Like, it's a book that really kind of triggers your emotions because if you're a book reader and you really enjoy books and then you read this book, you're like, oh my god, what are people thinking? Why? What is this world where you're not allowed to read books? Because, you know, this guy in the book is trying to explain to Montag why books are bad because they trigger emotions and it's bad to have these emotions triggered and it's bad to be smart because then people are unequal. And it's just like you sit there and you're just in your head, you're screaming, you're like, what are these people thinking? You need books, you need to trigger these emotions and you need to get people, you know, alive with feeling because without it we're all just blank, emotionless people, and that's what this book is about. And it's also a lot of um, Ray Bradbury's way of saying, almost stretching the truth, like, if we forget books in the future, and if we forget, you know, what knowledge is, what it's like to express these emotions, this is what our society is going to be like. It's going to be awful, and we're going to have firemen burning books instead of saving houses, and of course it's a stretch of the truth, but it's a really interesting way. Um, it's basically Bray, Ray Bradbury's way of saying, you know, I like books, and I don't think they should be abandoned. And I think that's why it's great for everybody to read. I know a lot of people don't like this book because if they don't have that attachment to reading, they don't really get the concept behind it. But I personally love the book. But there are a whole bunch of pages that I like dog-eared because I really enjoyed it. And I cannot imagine what this book would be like in an English lit class because I could analyze the heck out of this and really enjoy writing an essay on it. However, I'm not going to do that because I do have an English lit class here in college and this is not the book I'm analyzing and I have to spend enough time on that book. But anyways, those are my thoughts on the book. Uh, let me know your own thoughts on the book down below and also if you think I should do more little book reviews slash discussions in the future. But anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to keep an eye out for more videos in the future. And as always, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>